A fossil is nature's record of life. Imagine a fish dying in an ancient sea. Normally it would decay or be eaten. Nothing left behind. But if it sinks into the mud or sand and gets buried quickly, something different can happen. Layers of sediment pile on top, cutting off air. The soft parts of the body, they vanish first. And even bones, they might dissolve as well. And what often remains is just a impression. And over time, water carrying minerals, it seeps in. And those minerals harden, filling the spaces where the bone or shell once was. Bit by bit, the remains turn to stone. This process is called permineralization. Sometimes the original body is gone, but the empty space left behind hardens into a cast, an exact mold in rock. Fossils can be more than bones. They could be leaves, shells, footprints, even insects in amber. The hardened resin of the ancient trees can last for over a hundred million years. Pressure and chemical changes, they finish the job, turning loose sediment into stone and locking the fossil in place. Out of the billions of creatures that lived, only a tiny fraction actually became fossils. What we see in museums are not the bones themselves, but stone portraits of ancient life preserved by chance and time. These are Interesting Things with J.C.